Leaving the village of Badiga behind us, we head towards the capital, Ouagadougou. 60% of people in Burkina Faso live below the poverty line, earning less than 50p a day. The government tries to help. One agency targets the countryside, while another targets the planned urban areas, but nobody is responsible for these unplanned slums. Consequently, the people who live here have some of the worst sanitation in the country. This festering pit is where the kids play. It's the local rubbish tip, and as no one has a bathroom, it's also the public loo. But it gets worse. When the, the, the rain is falling, there is too many mosquitoes, and the people living around this place uh, are suffering of the, because of the problem of malaria. Water aid helps the most vulnerable, people who give their children dirty water to drink, because that's all there is. She said that, uh, she, has, yeah. she said that every time she is feeling, every time when the baby is feeling sick, she is very, very, very uh, worried. Worried, yes, yes, because she did, she don't know how it can finish. Uh, Tragically, she's right to be worried. Twenty percent of children don't survive to their fifth birthday. These children are in primary school. And, uh, They're so dusty. Yeah, they were too dusty because they the real, uh, the reality of poverty. And there's no water to clean them with. There are no water. They were using water purely for drinking. If they have a choice for using water, it is to 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 drink it first. Charity was set up by UK water companies, including Scottish Water, in 1981. Scots are the most generous donors, and Chris is here to see how the money is spent. There's so much we can give them to help them make more of their lives here. There's so much that makes a real difference. Uh, they talk about water being life here. Water is a matter of life and death. And so much as if there's poisoned water, it kills their infants. They have a very, very high mortality rate amongst the children. This borehole cost a thousand pounds. Every day it provides hundreds of people in the slum with clean drinking water. Water aid also improves sanitation. These school latrines were installed last year. Before the building of the latrines here, the children, the pupils of the school also defecated all around. And even the surrounding population, also adults, they took advantage of the night to come to defecate in the schoolyard. The following day, it was actually very, a very bad picture that we have in the schoolyard. But Water Aid's most effective tool is education. Our strategy is to use the children as an interface, an interface to communicate with their family what they learn at school and uh, they are going to transfer that in their family and uh, I think that uh, this way of uh, transferring knowledge is uh, giving some best results and we are happy of that. I think what's really apparent here and what, what you can't help escaping is how a huge number of benefits cascade from these projects. It's not just about uh, clean water quenching someone's thirst. We see on sanitation that it has a dramatic effect on basically the dignities of these communities. The ownership of these projects is handed back to the people who are very, very grateful to receive it and who thrive on it, frankly. Burkina Faso still has many challenges ahead, but when you give someone access to safe water and basic sanitation, they start the journey out of poverty on a path towards better health, better education, and ultimately, a better life. Thank you.